Hey guys, Jess here, and today we are looking at a great game that just came out on Steam. Everything Edmund McMillan, The Basement Collection. Okay, so today we have a lot of games in here. These are all the uh, old Edmund McMillan games. I think the uh, newest one came out was... Yeah, Time Fuck. It came out in 2009, 9th of the 16th. So it has little dates, bonus content, all that stuff, so that's pretty cool. And I'll give you a rundown of all the games. Meat Boy, one of the only ones I've actually played in here. The original Flash prototype, this was the one that uh, Microsoft or whatever saw, and they're like, hey, we want you to make a Meat Boy for Xbox and stuff like that. Uh, this was pretty cool. I played this, but the controls were kind of floaty. Um, in the new Meat Boy on Xbox, they really refined the controls, making it perfect. But in this one, it's really hard to play. Coil, I don't even know what this is. So... We'll get to this. Uh, have a good time. Triacnid, I've heard about this. Uh, he is one of the bosses in Binding of Isaac. I think you have to move his legs and travel around the world and stuff. Um, so yeah. Aether, I have no idea what this is. Timefuck, I've played this before a little. Um, it was pretty cool. I like the mechanics. I like how the um, the screen, you can see the stuff in the background. Then you switch it out and you can see the stuff in the foreground. For any of you that have played it before, uh, that's kind of the mechanics. If you haven't played it before... If you haven't played any of these games before, and you do, and you are a fan of like Super Meat Boy and Binding of Isaac and Ender McMillan games, I would definitely suggest picking this up. Only two dollars seventy, great deal. Uh, two dollars seventy now. I think it's thirty percent off because um, because it just came out, and I don't know. He likes to do that, put his games on sale. Really good guy. Doesn't charge too much for games or whatever. It's great. Um, so yeah, hold on. I think the sound is like completely off. Gonna just turn the sound up a little here. Oh, that's right, I have it on mute. Right. So you can hear the wonderful music from Danny B, who um did all the sounds for this. Anyway, so I think today we're gonna start first off with Spewer. Okay. So Spewer is one of the ones I've uh, played already in the basement collection. And I'll show you how it works. It's a really cool game. So this little cute little blob thing. Controls are WASD, um, as are most games. You just kind of float around, you jump, you look like that. You look like Little Chad, but kind of like a little washed out version of Little Chad. Now you have the red outline and um, like kind of washed out pink in the middle of him. Anyway, so this game has a really cool mechanic. It has the spewer mechanic. As you can see, I'm swimming through the screen stuff. This is called spewer. Or I think maybe the guy's called spewer, that's just for you. you. Anyway. So this is your spear meter down here, and to use it you just click down and you puke all over the place. It's disgusting. Great. So your points in the level are determined by how many jumps you take, steps you take, and how much puke you save. You can also use the puke to propel yourself up, like here. Remember to save enough to make the jumps. Sometimes you'll, uh, you'll use it all and then not have enough to actually make it all the way to the top of the jump. This one you just propel yourself down. That was close. And to make it kind of a longer distance, you shoot it across ways instead of just straight down. In some levels, you have to fill up a certain area with this stuff. Just spray it all over the place. It doesn't matter if it goes over here, it'll level out because of the gravity in the game or whatever. And that, that will save you from the getting killed by the spikes. You press space to eat it back up again and then you shoot it back down. this one, you have no spear, so you're going to have to use your uh, jumping skills and stuff until you can get some, I guess. Sometimes that'll come in the, um, in the form of fruit that you eat, and that'll sometimes come in the form of just a big bunch of spear just being dumped on top of you have to eat it all. So as you can see, the main objective of every, every level is to open up the door uh, and get to it. So in this one, see, as you can see, it's all stuck up there. So you hit this button, come down here, open this up, eat that all, and then you can use it to go hit this button over here with a propulsion jump. Now you don't have to get all of it. I like it though because it uh, gives you a better end score. I'm not sure if the scores even matter though. I'm pretty sure they don't. So you just use it. And something I found, um, when I was playing it on Newgrounds, I'd jump and then use it, and I'd never be able to get high enough. 
But what I found out was, and this is probably very common knowledge for anyone, but you, as soon as you jump, you just shoot it down, and you'll get much higher propulsion. Alright, so in this one, you have to use um, all the skills you've just learned in the other ones. And that's what I love about this game. He'll uh, he'll give you something to play with, like uh, maybe a different spear type. There's, there are different spear types. There are four different spear types. And spoiler alert, if you don't know, want to know what they are, I'm going to say them. So, um, there's uh, like a hot chili spear type that makes you go really high. It, uh, like you shoot it out. It's really uh, it's a lot stronger. And you can use it kind of like a jetpack type thing. There is a acid type. And there's, you'll find out about acid later on in the game. Acid's really deadly. Uh, as by the name acid and if you touch it you'll just die instantly but you can get this acid tablet I adjust enough there you can get this acid tablet to um to be able to use the acid and shoot it out and stuff and that'll melt away some walls and stuff there's one uh, a gish tablet and anyone who likes Edmund McMillan will know about gish because he pretty much puts it in every one of his games anyway so um that one you can make like platforms for yourself to jump up onto and land on and jump off which I think is a really cool mechanic, and, um, yeah, and then this one, probably my favorite, you just fly around in the spear, you shoot up into the air, it's hilarious. Some levels you're gonna have to, um, maneuver through the clouds they give you, and try not to hit the spike. Anyway, so I think the story to this, um, is that you're this little guy trapped in this scientist's laboratory. You gotta finish these tests that he's giving you and stuff. You can see him back there. You're probably a little tiny little thing. Keep hitting that top bit there. Anyway, it's kind of like uh, Super Meat Boy. You just start back at the start of the level after a uh, pretty small respawn time. See now, I get through the, I get through these levels easy, um, and then I, I record it, like I'm gonna go put it up, and I fail. Story of every commentator, probably. Anyway, um, I should, I should have probably stopped it at uh, the end of the chapter. Actually, all right, so I'm gonna stop at the end of the chapter. If I don't, I'm gonna upload it from here, uh, because if I don't figure out how to do that, which I will, don't worry. If I don't, it's going up, and I'll start restart from this level, and I'll complete it for you guys. If not, I'm going to put it at the end of chapter one, and you won't even be hearing this, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed.